I don't want to know what it is. And I don't want to know how it got back there. I swear, I don't know how you can have such a dirty car. It just blows my mind a little bit. I'm just, you know, I'm not OCD, but I'm pretty organized, pretty clean individual. Keep things tidy, neat, take care of things. So when I see stuff like this, it, it blows my mind a little bit. I'm just like, hmm, I didn't know it was possible to take this bad care of something. But, um, I've been cleaning out this stuff. I wanted to get a POR 15 going on these. I uh, had a little crack here, had a little crack here, and I just started to lift them up, and I'm going to sand away the edges there. And uh, uh, pretty much the goal for today is to get the... Uh, Get this all clean. I'm really. I just. It started out just to clean off this, these little spots to PR15. But I, I started getting here behind where the uh, roll bar meets the floor panel, and I don't know why this side is. It's kind of weird because this side has like the factory weld, and then you follow the factory weld, and then over there on the uh, driver's side, the factory weld ends. It doesn't actually go on to the uh, where it meets the floor panel. There. It's kind of a little weird, but I knew this is where the, most of the. I just don't know how this. You know what I mean? Like. At, at, at Jeeps of all things, at least you can kind of, you know, get into the nooks and crannies and stuff, and I've cleaned out most of everything, obviously, except this, where this is so hard to uh, reach, but I've been using spray bottles, spraying in there, I've been using uh, soapy, really soapy hot water with a toothbrush, I've been using a little bit of a um, wire brush to really kick up some of that dirt, and I've been really getting in there pretty good, I got most of it, I'm almost satisfied, I really want to get some of that nitty gritty out of there, but, yeah, it's just over there to the... the Digging up some of the paint, you can see that they painted over some of the starting rust. So I'm just going to hit a little bit of PR15 over there. That side's not really too bad for that. And then uh, just uh, hit this side here, here, and there. And I, uh, you know, these are actually good thing I'm getting them now. So, and that will uh, that will successfully take care of just about everything in the body. I mean, uh, the inside. And um, this, I, I went and ordered uh, the PR15. It's not POR15, but it's POR patch, something like that. It's supposed to be really good. If it does exactly what I think it's going to do, I can use it to seal up that, seal up this, seal in a uh, spot for that hole, and um, things will come out really good. It'll, it'll really seal it nice, so... Yeah. Back to the nitty-gritty. Well, there can be no victory without a loss somewhere. I was really hoping that wasn't so bad, but... Mm, I started to sand away to get ready for the PR15 on it and that just completely crumbled away which is really unfortunate I was hoping to avoid another hole this is somewhere right above well, I got the frame right here where I'm, yeah this is right above the frame where it would sit on the frame at least that's all good right there but then this is just look at that just falling apart right through here Ooh, yeah that's not that's not great that's not great for me I was hoping to only have one hole in this thing to just easily patch. I, I've been okay with that. That's just kind of been there since the beginning. I was like, that's all right. But this, ooh. And it's, that's kind of not in a really too bad of a spot. This is a little worse of a spot. It's so close to the seat bolt and stuff. And let's see. Well, I think it might be stopping right there at least. It's not going to, uh, it kind of crawls into where I pointed out the other day where the uh, jump under here. Yeah, that's that's where I, I realized uh, just yesterday that it was uh, pretty bad up through there, like to the right of that hole, which is underneath where the uh, roll bar meets the floor. Well, that's too bad. There's absolutely nothing I can do really about that. I will just um, probably just eat away at as much of it as, you know, it's just not holding on, falling apart. And... Uh, just PR15 it and just do with what I'm doing with everything else. I hope this, now I'm really glad I ordered that PR15 patch stuff. I really hope it's the, you know, the real deal. I mean, this stuff hasn't failed me. They make good stuff, so if this is, you know, gonna work out the way I think it is, then it won't be, you know, too much more trouble just to stick a little thing in there and just try to fill it up. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I don't find any more surprises. Like, I, I mean, you can see under the seat there, it's, everything seems pretty fine, so hopefully this is the last surprise I'm gonna hit here. Which is, it's too bad, you know, I'm, 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 you know, it's a little bummed, but I was just hoping this would uh, seal over, but I guess better to get it out now and hopefully that, uh, that stuff can just seal over it and I won't have to worry too much about it.